We find in the functional examination a combination of positive tests. Some passive tests seem to be positive and some resistive tests seem to be positive. Active elevation, painful. Passive elevation, passive rotations, end range painful, perhaps a painful arc. And abduction and lateral rotation against resistance are also painful. So, what is the problem? Well, this points in the direction of some kind of inert lesion. It is obvious that this is a clear non-capsular pattern. So perhaps we could think of a bursitis. But this points in the direction of a tendinous lesion, more specifically supraspinatus and infraspinatus. So the question is, does the patient have a single lesion, a double lesion, or even a triple lesion? Or is it a simple chronic subdeltoid bursitis? How can I differentiate that? Let's imagine the resisted abduction and the resisted lateral rotation from the basic shoulder examination are positive. But we are not 100% sure if there is a relation with a tenderness lesion or if there might be, for instance, a chronic subdeltoid bursitis. So what do we do to differentiate? Well, we're going to repeat the same test, but this time we do it in lying. And we ask the patient to do an abduction against resistance, full force, full force, yes. We do exactly the same for the lateral rotation, okay. And we ask what happens. If the patient in the lying position has less pain on the resistor test, or even if the resistor test became negative, then it is clear that we don't have a link with the tenderness problem, but most likely there is a link with compression on some inert structure. And most likely we are talking about the subdeltoid bursa.